Welcome to the Life is Relationships podcast, where we share biblical truths about marriage, parenting, and discipleship. The desire of CTCI is to see the hearts of individuals and families restored in their relationship to the Father, and for them to be empowered to have thriving, godly relationships that impact the communities around them. I'm your host, AJ Selby, and on today's episode, we'll be talking with Larry Pons as he shares with us what the most powerful word in marriage is, which may not be what you actually think it is. Take a listen. Well, hey, Larry, thank you again so much for coming on the podcast. It's good to be here, AJ. Um, Today, um, we're going to talk about the most important word in marriage. And typically, I think that people often believe that the most important words are love or forgiveness or respect. But I've come to learn from you that that is not actually the answer. So would you mind sharing today, what actually is the most important word in marriage? (laughs) I want to say that the words you just expressed are very important. Uh, I want to, uh, I think I, the way I would describe it is what the most powerful word in marriage, because I, I think that many times we don't realize the the power of God we need to help us, uh, not only in marriage, but in parenting. And that word is agreement. 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 I, I refer to the, Scripture in Matthew 18, 19, and 20, when Jesus said, Again, do I say to you that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. That is a powerful statement. Think about that. And Jesus goes on to say, Where two or three have gathered together in my name, I'm there in their midst. So if we can take that promise in Scripture, and apply that into our marriage, and not only in our marriage, but also into raising our children, the uh, the results are endless. Uh, the possibilities are endless in that God will intervene. We've seen him in so many ways when Susan and I come into agreement. We're not talking about agreement in the simple things of life, like what color towels you need to have in the bathroom. Or where you're going to dinner. Or, or, uh, well, it'd be good to agree on that, yeah, that one. Is, that <laughs> one is a good that one to agree. Good that good wasn't the best and example. It's just, unless it's a special, <laughs> a special occasion, you know, and you want a surprise. But but I think, uh, but, but uh, what church you're going to or what job or what if you think about leaving a job or where you're going to live, these major decisions, decisions of life uh, really take agreement and uh, and it's amazing what it does with your children. If you can allow me, I'll tell you a, a quick story. Of course. Uh, when Ellie was 13, I think our oldest, uh, she came home from school one day and she was uh, totally excited and wanted to, uh, the, the, her mother wasn't home. I was there uh, waiting for her. And she came in, she was just, all the friends were going to the movie that night. And they were just, she was ecstatic, and she just uh, went on and on about how it's, you know, because in our small town, there's very little to do. I mean, you had the skating rink, and you had the movie theater. That was about it, unless there was a ball game being played. So I could see her excitement and all the things she wanted to do, and uh, so she just kept going on. So I, being a loving and understanding father like I was, I just asked a simple question. I said, well, Ellie, what's the movie rated? Now, who does that anymore? You know, see, that was, uh, who asked those kind of questions? Yeah. Well, I did. And you could see her, the look on her face, you know, it was an open shock. Her eyelids got very wide open and she totally avoided the answer and just went on and on and on about her friends being there. And this, she was excited. I said, Ellie, what is the movie rating? She said, I, I, I don't know, Dad. I, you know, she just went on. I said, Ellie, and finally, she turns to dad. And she might have said PG-13 or something. But at that stage of life, we we were very straightforward about what they could see and what they couldn't. Well, I mean, it, I just let the air out of the balloon on that one. There was no question. She started sinking. I said, Ellie, you're asking me to do something we, you know we won't allow you to do. And she just kept on. She said, Dad, I won't even watch the movie. I'll turn my back to the movie. I just want to be with my friends. And I said, Ellie, that, that's not going to, uh, I, I just don't know that that can happen. And, and you could just see she was totally disappointed. Mm. 
And the daughter pulls the heartstrings of the father. And she did mine. <laughs> and I was sitting there going, oh my gosh, I have blown this one. But I, I meant it, but I, I didn't want her to be hurt by that. So I thought about what we could do. And so I went back into her room and I said these words to her. I said, Ellie, I'll tell you what, your mother's not here. If she agrees that you can go tonight, then you can go. You can be with your friends. I thought she'd be ecstatic. Instead, she absolutely just reacted. She just said, no way. And I looked at her and she said, you and mom agree on everything. She said, she, she's going to agree with you. She said, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to get to go. <laughs> and I looked at her and I said, watch your attitude, young lady. And then I walked out of the room. When I walked out of the room, I started pumping my arms, you know, you know this hand pump. And I'm sitting there going, oh, my gosh. Our daughter thinks we agree on everything. We don't agree on anything. And our daughter thinks that we agree. The point is, is that uh, our children saw us uh, in our worst uh, in life, but they thought we agreed on everything. Mm. And the truth of the matter is, Susan and I never start out agreeing on anything. As a matter of fact, she was sitting beside me right now. She said, yes, we do. <laughs> I would say, no, we don't. We would start in that place. Yeah. But we wouldn't make a decision until we came into agreement. Uh, and Scripture is very clear that if you ask anything, if you agree on anything, Jesus said, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. And we started practicing that and applying that in our relationship and raising our children and it was amazing. Even if we made a mistake, God's grace would come in through this. But we were, it was a powerful time in our lives of learning this. But agreement is extremely important. For anyone that's listening and they, they're wondering, okay, well, what does this, this look like? Does that mean that I have to, how do I get you know, my spouse over on my side of the fence? I need them to come to my side of the road. They need to meet me in the middle here. What does it, what would you say to that person that may be looking at that in a, in a slightly skewed perspective? Well, I would say if you could accomplish that, then you need to be on, on this microphone right now and you need to be doing the teaching. <laughs> it never worked for us. Uh, that is not agreement. That is coercion. That's manipulation. That's all the things that you don't want to do. And many of us do try to do that. No, um, because I am male and I'm 100% male and Susan is the most feminine woman I know, <laughs> we approach things differently. Now, I know that's not politically correct, but I'm not politically correct on that one. Susan is female and I am male and we see things differently. But God wants us to be one and he wants us to be one in all areas of life. And the way we become one is by being in agreement. And so we have to work through those issues in the privacy of our relationship, not with our children standing there watching us and not with others telling us what to do, but us deciding for ourselves how to do this. And uh, she knows if I'm manipulating, I know if she's trying to manipulate. Uh, of course, we've been together for a while, but we were childhood sweethearts too. And we knew each other well when we got married. Agreement is a, a godly thing. And all that means is that it implies love. It implies uh, a, a, a union that can only come in the sense of that you are really caring for the other person and the other person's caring for you. And so that's why it's extremely important to apply agreement in any decision that you're making. Well, Larry, thank you for really unpacking the most powerful word in marriage. You're very welcome. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we would love if you left us a review. For more information about CTCI and our upcoming programs, be sure to check out ctcilife.org. This podcast is a production of Christian Training Center International. It is produced by AJ Selby, Rebecca Wall, and Seth Stradling. It is edited, mixed, and mastered by AJ Selby and Corey Kassmeyer.